Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. A warm welcome to all of you joining us from home. Presiding at this liturgy will be Father Paul, as we remember in a very special way at this Mass, Margaret Jane Rickerbeady. Kindly join me in the entrance song. The wicked have told me lies, but not so is your law. I speak of your decrees before kings and was not confounded. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate the memorial of Saint Justin the Martyr, let us also pray that we will be able to defend Catholic faith like Justin the Martyr. Let's be sorry for the moments where we fail to love one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the Martyr, the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession, that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the Church of Ephesus, Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the Church of God, that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, Men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God. And to the gracious word of that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated, I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were weeping loudly. As they, grew, as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. The response to our psalm. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power of God with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, the kingdoms of the earth. O Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome is his sanctuary as God. 
the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God the kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me. And I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to, to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, this prayer that we heard in the Gospel is called the Highly Priestly Prayer. And the prayer itself is saying about the life of Jesus. When he said, May they be one as we are one. That is something we have to look into. Usually, the priestly, high priestly prayers will be just like a pleading. But here, he is basing his life itself and saying, just like that, protect them. So if he wanted to say, may they be one as we are one, the unity should be that strong. And remember, when Jesus says about this, he knows that the Father knows him very well. Suppose I am going to say something in front of my own Father, I have to be very careful because my father knows me from childhood onwards. And if I say something which I cannot, which is beyond my uh, ability, then he will easily know about it. And I will be a little uh, fearful to say about it. Here, Jesus is making it as a prayer. Let them be one as we are one. That means Jesus kept all that his father wanted in his life. Perfect unity. And from that perfect unity, he is basing it for his prayer and asking his father, let them also be one. So to make such a prayer, we need a lot of guts. Or we, our life should be such. So, dear friends, today, usually, this prayer is taken for Christian unity, for ecumenical service and so on. So when we pray and meditate over this, let's pray for all the churches who are around scattered in the name of Christ, that they may all be united to do the work that God wanted, to be perfectly united with the wish of God the Father. Let us not be distracted by uh, the world. That's why he said, consecrate them as they are in the world. I'm not asking them to be away from the world, but consecrate them being in the world. 
So that should be our prayer, that everybody should be able to know the will of God the Father and do everything that He wishes, that perfect unity that Jesus and His Father had, today we should have, in the church especially, we have to be one and execute the will of God. God bless us. Let us place our petitions before a loving and merciful God. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit help us make a joyful and fruitful witness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for public officials, may God's grace enable them to use their talents for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are sick or suffering from a physical or mental illness, may God grant them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for this faith community, may God direct our hearts in our outreach to all in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead. May our Heavenly Father joyfully welcome them to their eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. For those persons whose names are placed in our box of petitions and for all the attentions we hold in the depths and silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God our Creator, look favorably on the prayers that we bring in trust to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and milk of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our beautiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every moment to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Justin, poured out like Christ, to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with Saint Justin the Martyr, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Land of God. You take, take away the sins of the world that have mercy on us. us. Land of God, you take away the sins of the world that have mercy on us. Land of God, you take away the sins of the world that have mercy on us. Our communion prayer. I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Alleluia.
Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. Thank you, Father. Thank you.